my students in the last lecture we have discussed problems basing on sprints now we are going to solve some more problems on sprints let us see now first problem if two blocks of masses m1 and m2 are connected to the ends of a massless spring which is a horizontal and given spring constant is k then time period of oscillations of the blocks is 2 pi root m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into k so this is what we have to get see how to start the problem let us take a diagram here block of mass m1 block of mass m1 connecting to a spring and one more block of mass m2 so here we are compressing blocks and release the blocks then blocks will execute simple harmonic motion right so now we have to find time period of oscillations of those blocks see how to start this problem so we are finding here one point which is not moving that is the center of mass i am marking here this is center of mass that point is not moving then this can be taken as this can be taken as so i'm drawing diagram separately here once again block of mass m1 attached to a spring whose other end is fixed and its spring constant is k1 see this question we are converting into it is a single block of mass m1 whose other end is connected to a wall because we are saying here center of mass is not moving so this point is fixed so that's why this can be taken as fixed to wall and it's a spring constant here for this part of the spring, spring constant is k1. So we divide now the spring into two parts. And let us take for this part, spring constant is k1. And for this part, spring constant is k2. So left of the center of mass, this is just like one block and one spring. Right of center of mass, the remaining part of the spring and block of mass m2. Now, these two blocks having same time period. Let us focus now block of mass M1 and what is the spring constant K1. Because once we get the value of K1, time period will be, it is a 2 pi root M1 by K1. So, we have to find the value of K1 here. And for that, we are using the condition K into L equal to constant. So this point we have discussed earlier, right? So spring constant into length of the spring is a constant. So now what we are doing is here. Suppose distance of center of mass from M1 is L1. I am writing here. Distance of M1 from center of mass is L1. Distance of M2 from center of mass is L2 and take length of the spring is L. Then from center of mass, from center of mass, we can say L1 equal to M2 L by M1 plus M2. L2 equal to M1 L by M1 plus M2. So this is what we have learned in center of mass, right? Now substitute this value in the place of L1 
and in the place of L2. Then we get the values of K1 and K2. So K1 and K2. So we got values of K1, K2. Now we can write T equal to 2 pi root M1 by K1. Or we can write 2 pi root M2 by K2. Then we get T equal to 2 pi root M1, M2 by M1 plus M2 into K. And we are knowing that this M1, M2 by M1 plus M2 is nothing but reduced mass. So we are simply replacing that is with a mu, where mu stands for reduced mass. Okay. Right. Let us see next one. If a block of mass M is connected to a spring of mass, spring of mass Ms and spring constant K, then time period of oscillations is. So this is what we have to derive. Okay. So earlier we have taken spring which has no mass. Okay. We have taken massless spring. So in this spring has mass, that is the only change. See how we are solving it. So let us make a diagram here. So it is a spring which has mass attached to a block of mass M. Surface is smooth, spring constant K. Now what we are doing is here, writing total energy for the system. So during oscillations, energy of the system. Here system is now block and spring. For this system, sum of potential and kinetic is a constant. So I am writing here, total energy of the system, half mv square, kinetic energy of the block. It is kinetic energy of the block plus half, sorry, it is not half, it is 1 by 6, 1 by 6 m s mass of the spring v square. This is the kinetic energy for spring. For this, we have derived in work energy power. Using now that result directly here, kinetic energy of the spring plus potential energy of the spring half k x square. So this is total energy of the system. And this energy is a constant. Therefore, when we differentiate that, you can see next step. When we differentiate that, dE by dt. Since energy is a constant, derivative must be equal to 0. So here, I have taken here a half m derivative of v square 2va so derivative of v square is 2v and again derivative of v, dv by dt that is now acceleration of the block plus 1 by 6 mass of a spring again 2va plus half k derivative of x square 2xv equal to 0. And after solving, we get acceleration equal to minus k by mass of the block plus one third of mass of the spring into x. So this is in the form minus omega square into x. That means in the place of omega square, it is now k by m plus ms by 3. Then time period is 2 pi by omega. This is now final expression. So whenever spring is having mass, this is now expression for time period of oscillations. Okay. Right. Let us move to next problem. Read the question carefully. So find time period of oscillations of the block of mass M pulleys are massless, string is massless and inextensible. 
So we have to find the time period of oscillations of the block of mass here. So see diagram carefully. Earlier, while solving these problems, we have taken there is no gravity. So which helps us to make calculation more simple with. Now we are doing the same thing here also. Assume there is no gravity. When there is no gravity, no tension in the spring. And the springs are in natural state. I am repeating. We are assuming that there is no gravity. Because time is not depending on gravity. And by taking this, we can minimize the calculation part. So no gravity, there is no weight, therefore no tension. No tension means here springs, they are in natural state. Okay. Now, if block is having displacement x downwards, see who provides now a restoring force. So it is obviously tension has to provide restoring force. Okay. Let us now how to calculate tension. Right. Let us make a diagram here. Coming to further block. Further block. Tension that is upwards which provides a restoring force. Now see carefully block of mass m moving down by x distance. Let us assume this spring elongates by x1. So this spring is elongating by x1. Elongation x1 here. And this upper spring elongates by x2. Okay. Now see carefully. When this pulley moves x1 upwards. Okay. And this pulley moves x2 downwards. Then we can write this x equal to. That x equal to. 2x1 plus 2x2. that x equal to 2x1 plus 2x2, right? Now see carefully, spring having elongation x1. So spring force is kx1. I am drawing here that one. This is lower pulley. Spring force, it is a kx1 downwards. So here having elongation. So by spring on the pulley forces downwards and tension, tension, tension T upwards. I take tension as T dash to avoid confusion between time period and tension. T dash. This is a T dash. This also T dash. Right. <laughs> And take for upper pulley also. For upper pulley. Spring force. That is. Upwards. Kx2. Because spring having elongation. So spring force upwards. And coming to tension. T dash. Downwards. And this also. Downwards. And we have taken here pulleys are massless. So pulleys are massless means net force on the pulley must be zero. So we can write 2 t dash equal to kx2, 2 t dash equal to kx1. That is what we have written here, right? Let us make correction here tension t dash because we are taking t for time period t dash. And this also T dash. 
So two T dash equal to K one X one. That is equal to K two X two. Right. And that is equal to here. Two K X. Right. See carefully now. Substitute this value, these values in equation one. Then in the place of x, in the place of x, see what we are writing. In the place of x, we are writing. It is t by k. In the place of x, we are writing now t by k. So t by k equal to two into in the place of x one two t by k one in the place of x two two t by k two. So from this one by k equal to one by k equal to four into one by k one plus one by k two. See carefully once what we have taken. We got two t dash equal to k one x one that is equal to k two x two, right? And see here what we have taken two k x. Why we have taken here two k x? Because tangent t dash equal to some k into x. Okay. We want to calculate what is the spring. Sorry, it is what is force constant. Okay, so T dash, T dash. I am writing here. T dash should be equal to some k into x. Okay, that's why in equation two, here two T dash. That's what is equal to two into k into x. Okay. So from here we got one by k value. Now time period is now time period is two pi root m by k. This is now m into one by k. So in the place of one by k, in the place of one by k, we are writing now this value. Okay, then this is the answer, right? So you have to focus carefully how we have taken the elongations, elongation x one, elongation x two. Therefore, this block comes down by a distance two x one plus two x two. And next condition, pulleys are massless. Since pulleys are massless, net force must be equal to zero. That's why two t dash equal to k x one. Two t dash equal to k x two. That is what we have taken the equation to. And here, why we have taken two k x? The reason is that t dash equal to k x. Therefore, two t dash equal to two k x. Okay, and remain just calculation part. Okay, no, right.